Tomas. No, Solon, was it not? And the Flame Emperor. It is most clear that something has transpired, and it relates to you somehow. Or is the fault my own, and you're just caught inside the wave? Sothis, the goddess of this world. I bear her name. Hmm, how confusing. I feel as though my head has turned to mush. This one, yes. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. I this one, yes. I think 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 this one, yes. I thank you. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. You have a good eye. You have a good eye. You have a good eye. A ple you have a good eye. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure. Do you have a good eye? A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing. You have a good eye. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business with you. Come again. Hello there. This one, yes. This one, yes. I thank you. This one, yes. I thank you. Return soon, please. Pardon me. It cannot be true that our siblings in arms could turn against us so. However, I will continue investigating members of the church. To think that even someone as senior as Tomas would fall under suspicion. I know not how far to take my search. Yes, a great many strange and terrible things have come to pass this year. I must not dismiss the possibility that someone among the students is behind it all. I have a request. I can't believe this. I'm so angry right now. First it's the Death Knight, and now Tomas, but neither of them are in custody. I can't stand the thought of such evil lurking in the world. We have to do something about this. I have to do something about this. For me, this... Hmm. 
will be fine, I'm sure. They've all been to events like this before. But me? I'm noble, and I've never even been close to one of these things. Thank you very much. Need something? This one? You're all set. This one? You're all set. See you again soon. Before the ball, it is customary that we host a competition of dance known as the White Heron Cup. The students are quite fond of this tradition. Each house must select a representative to compete. Their dance shall be judged by its beauty, grace, and technique. The student, who is deemed the winner, will be given the opportunity to train as a dancer, should they so please. It is a very precious thing, the gift of dance. I hope that you and your students will choose to participate. May I ask a favor of you? I have looked into Tomas, but I just cannot make sense of this at all. From his behavior up until now, I never would have suspected that a man like him could turn on us. I have also discovered that his appearance has changed. It is almost as if he is not even human. What in the world is going on? Yes, this is mine. Mark Monastery is said to have been completed during the ethereal moon. Why, 995 years ago, as a matter of fact. That's rather a long time ago, don't you think? Every year, a ball is held to celebrate the founding, and every 100 years, a very special celebration takes place. It's a grand festival involving all of Gerrig Mark. 
It is thrilling to read of past festivals, and I'm rather excited to experience one for myself. Once in a lifetime, eh? The next one in five years will mark a millennium. Should be quite an event. Do you imagine you'll still be here teaching then? I'm not sure. this stuff. Did you know that? Oh, I... I love to cook. What are we making today? That's so. I have a lot of experience in the kitchen. I can make just about anything. Wow. from such a terrible event. So many dead, so much destroyed. I can't see how the whole village doesn't just end up abandoned. I'm sorry, Professor. I'm talking about such grim and terrible things when we could be talking about the White Heron Cup. It's a big dance contest between the classes, and I simply adore dancing. I'm quite good at it, since I was a diva in an opera company, you know. I think my heart just skipped a beat. You want me to represent the class? I'm not sure when I last experienced such flattery, Professor. Ah, there you are. I apologize for calling you in so suddenly. Please, sit. There is a matter I would like to discuss with you. I believe I've told you this before, but it is my responsibility to aid the Archbishop in all her duties. Spiritual instruction, ceremony oversight, donation management, all of the Church's many administrative tasks. I oversee not only the priesthood, but also the Knights of Seros and the Officers Academy. The Archbishop entrusts a great deal to my discretion, and I am honored by her confidence. Even when she must make decisions herself, she often seeks my counsel in advance. And yet, your appointment to a teaching position at the Officers Academy was a complete surprise to me. 
Not only that, but you have also been entrusted with the Sword of the Creator. I was as surprised as anyone else to learn that. Frankly, I am just not sure how to handle you. I am the Archbishop's right hand, and yet when it comes to you, I have been told almost nothing. Not quite. I do find you to be a trustworthy individual, but my subjective opinion is not enough. I have a duty to be cautious. Should the Archbishop's trust in you prove to be misplaced, it is the faithful who will suffer most. First, I would like to know just how much you know about yourself. You are the child of Geralt Eisner, correct? That's quite a vague reply for such a basic question. In the future, I would advise you to answer such queries with confidence. As the former captain of the Knights of Seros, Geralt is renowned throughout Fodlan. If you really are his child, then no one would voice any complaint about you joining the Knights. How long has it been since you became a mercenary? Given your youth, that hardly seems likely. Come to think of it, I have never asked your age. Just how old are you exactly? Your face says it all. You truly don't know, do you? Just what was Gerald thinking, raising you this way? Given your responses thus far, I feel as though any further questions would just be a waste of our time. However, permit me to make one thing clear. Whatever her reasons, the Archbishop has placed great faith in you. Do not betray that trust. That is all. Professor. Oh, shopping took longer than I thought. It's a good thing I had your help, Professor. Looks like we've got everything we came for. Time to head back to the monastery. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure if the money that night gave us would be enough. We managed to scrape by, though. I'm glad those shopkeepers were willing to strike a few bargains. It's one of the few things I'm really good at. I've got a lot of experience living in the city. Money was tight for me, too. At least until Lenato adopted me into his family. Come to think of it, you were originally a mercenary, weren't you? I'm sure you've traveled all over Fodlin. That must have been a pretty different life from regular folks like me. <laughs> you think so? But a mercenary's whole job is fighting, isn't it? Must be a pretty tough way to live. I believe you. I can imagine. Oh! I had no idea they sold this book around here. I haven't seen this one for ages. Lug and the Maiden of Wind. It's a well-known tale of chivalry in Fargus. Uh, Lug is the King of Lions. This book is full of his exciting adventures. I've loved this since I was a kid. It was what got me learning to read. Give me that book! Hey, creep. Don't touch the merch. What the? Somebody catch that thief. Cut him in half like my prices. Please, calm down, ma'am. You calm down, kid. If he gets away with that valuable merch, it'll be a huge loss for me. Here, allow me to compensate you. Huh? Are you serious, kid? I mean, no objections over here, but that sounds crazy. Don't you worry. That thief will be paying me back just as soon as I catch him. Head on back to the monastery, Professor. I'll take care of everything here. The 
area with the old chapel was supposed to be off limits. It was at risk of collapse, so they didn't even post guards. It's not too strange. Does that surprise you? Meh. Garrig Mach has lots of places that are blocked off for one reason or another. That's true of the underground Holy Mausoleum as well as the Northern Woods. People call it the Sealed Forest, but as far as I can tell, it's nothing special. Just a forest. The glow. Too much merriment. The librarian betrayed us. The Death Knight is back. Is this the time to be throwing a ball? say you're quite skilled. Perhaps if I joined your class, I could watch your sword technique up close. Indeed, I think that's best. I'll transfer to your class then. Don't make me regret it. Lady Rhea give you special treatment. You're not particularly strong or good-looking. You seem exceedingly unremarkable. Not that I doubt you were a skilled mercenary. Shamir came from the same background, but she doesn't get nearly as much of Lady Rhea's attention. Besides, it'd be one thing if you got brought on as a knight, but a professorship? Unprecedented. I just don't get it. I'm flummoxed as to why she holds you in such high esteem. And it's not like just anyone can wield the Sword of the Creator. It's a legendary relic, right? And it was casually handed over to you. It's unbelievable. Maybe it's because you're related to Geralt. He was a leader of the Knights of Saros, and probably the finest mercenary in all Fodlan. By the time I joined, he was gone. So I don't know him too well, but he's strong, right? Oh, come on. There can't be a soul in Fodlin who hasn't heard tales of the Bladebreaker. Maybe that's it. Geralt used his influence to help you. But Lady Rhea wouldn't give you favorable treatment because of that. No, definitely not. There must be something more to you. Okay, that settles it. I'm going to watch from afar. Figure out what Lady Rhea could possibly see in you. Whatever it is, maybe I can copy it so that you'll take a shine to me as well. And if I discover that your intentions are malicious, I'll cut you down with relish. Was it does that that's people call it So Tomas the librarian was a bad guy? 
They always seem so nice. Oh, come on, self. You're better than this. You promised you'd be on top of things this month. Right. Thank you so Oh, sorry, Professor. I somehow overslept and missed our training session. I didn't mean to cause you and the others so much trouble. Imagine if that had happened during one of our missions. It really is inexcusable. It's just, when I'm studying tactics, I lose track of time and... Oh, who am I kidding? I've always been like this. Before I came to the Officer's Academy, I was a student at the School of Sorcery in Ferdiad. Even back then, I was pulling all-nighters well before the exams. And I never even noticed I was harming myself. I'm just too focused on my goal. I know I've already told you this, but I really love to learn new things. It's a passion of sorts. I first realized I had the learning bug when I was about four or five years old. My father was so happy to see me using magic. Seeing him happy made me happy too. And that made me want to work even harder. If only things could have stayed like that. When I was about 13, my father left home. He was a devout man, so I figured he'd gone to the monastery. That's why I went to the School of Sorcery, so that I could eventually get accepted at the Officer's Academy. I studied harder than ever, and sure enough, I finally earned a referral. Unfortunately, my passion for learning became more of an obsession. I got so focused, I kind of forgot how to relax. Feels like I've been running in circles ever since. No way! I still have such a long way to go. Still, I guess I'm doing something wrong if I'm working so hard I can't even work hard anymore. Okay, it's decided. From now on, I'll try my best not to try my best. Yay! With you on my side, I'm sure I'll succeed! From now on, if you see me going overboard, just let me know. I'm a new woman after all. So, oh. um, Professor, hi! I, I have a request for you, if that's okay. So, um, I just, I want to join your class, please! Huh? Really? Oh, uh, thank you! I'm so, so happy right now! I just know I'll be able to learn all sorts of things with your guidance. I can't wait. Did you need something from me? Oh, this tea. It's my absolute favorite. Thank you very much. Oh, 
hot. Yes. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Not very good at this sort of thing. for the tea. I look forward to doing this again. Meyer Village situation got sorted out, but it's not over yet, is it? And I can't believe old Tomas turned out to be an enemy. Who can you trust anymore?
Hello there. This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I think this one, yes? I think this one, yes? I thank you. Return soon, please. What do you require? Farewell. Last month was... well, you know even better than I do. I hope this one will be more cheerful. This ball, though, I don't know. It, it's all new to me. Hey! Tomas wouldn't betray the church. I don't believe it. I won't believe it. There's some people in the church who hate people like me who are from Elmira, but Tomas was always real kind. But if he really was Lady Rhea's enemy, well, I'd defend her against anybody, no matter how kind they'd been in the past. Hey, that... All right. Some scary things have been happening lately. I hope that this month, of all months, is peaceful. The ball is coming up and everything. Although I'm not much of a dancer, actually. an opportunity to showcase my exquisite skills on the dance floor. These skills were ingrained in me when I was a boy. My hands and feet move on pure instinct. Hey, 
How come? How? It's true that Tomas was employed here under the recommendation of House Ordelia, but that's all I know of the topic. I never even seen him prior to enrolling here. Even when he was supposedly in Ordelia territory, I never once saw him there. I'm still feeling bothered by all of this, but there's not much else I can say about it right now. Hey! That! That's my... Another month full of chaos. I've barely had time to catch my breath. What is the objective of Tomas and his ilk? And what makes Flame so special? Does that not bother you? Yes, that is mine. Thank you. What's this about? The ball. Knights don't participate. It's an event for students, but it does pique the interest of some knights in particular. Alois can't dance, but I hear he likes to watch. He volunteered to judge the White Heron Cup. Not that I care. Thanks. How did you know?
The ball is coming up soon. I am so excited. I can't wait to fill up on food while everyone's dancing. I even heard there'll be some prime cuts of meat. Oh. Hey! Mercedes locked me in her room for hours earlier. She was slathering pounds of makeup onto my face, saying something or other about the ball. It really wore me out. Great work in Remire Village, Professor. Who would have ever guessed it was Tomas? Ah, but no. Now isn't the time to get lost in gloomy thoughts. Thanks so much. Oh, I can really have... Okay, I've decided on the composition. That's right, the composition for my next paint. Wait, Professor? How long have you been standing there? You haven't been watching me, have you? Uh, no, I misspoke. Did I say painting? I meant to say, uh... Well, I've thought for a while that it might be nice to paint the scenery here. The contours of that tree, set against the stark shapes of the faraway peaks. Of course, I only paint after I've finished my chores. I'd never put my art before my responsibilities. My studies are paramount. I shall always uphold my duties as a student of the Officer's Academy. Whereas art is... a hobby of mine, you might say. Everyone has hobbies, right? I'm sure you have one. Oh, well, perhaps it's different for you, Professor. But it's perfectly normal for people to have hobbies. Reading, for instance, or fishing, or taking midday naps. For me, it's making art. Hobbies are healthy. They're a good way of relieving stress. You might consider taking up a hobby, Professor. Anything to clear your mind. Think about it. It's much easier to focus if you're feeling refreshed. There isn't a rule against hobbies, is there? If you tell me to stop, I'll stop. I shall never again put brush to canvas. Really? It's okay for me to paint? Well, I mean, if you're sure. But really, it's nothing more than a little diversion. A frivolous pastime. Um, I think I ought to go back to my quarters now. If it's all the same to you. Professor, what an honor. I'd like to learn more about you. Maybe someday you can add me to your...
That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. Delicious? in front of people before not even once in all my life i am very much looking forward to it i shall take it i shall take Uh-huh. 